Hey guys, TJ Ryan Gaming here, back with another video, and in today's video, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about the time that this GameStop employee got so mad at me for canceling a pre-order. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into the story. So, basically, what happened was, it was around the time that No Man's Sky was getting close to coming out, and I went, went into GameStop to uh, pre-order No Man's Sky, and then I was also getting Call of Duty Ghost, just so I can make a throwback video on it. I didn't actually end up making a video on it, but if you guys did want to see that, leave, leave a like and a comment down below, and I will. Uh, so, I didn't end up making a video on that and all that, but I had to cancel my Battlefield 1 pre-order, because what was going to happen is I was out of space, especially with Infinite Warfare coming. We now know it's 90 gigs without DLC, and then COD 4 Remastered is 41 gigs without DLC, and they're both getting stuff added to it, so it's going to be well uh, over like 150 gigs, so I really needed to clear out my system, so I was going to make these videos with COD Ghost and everything, and clear it out and get ready for Infinite Warfare and COD 4 to come out, uh, and I was just going to be completely set up, so I went in there, and after I purchased my stuff, the guy asked, hey, do you want anything else, and, or can I help you with anything else, is usually what they say, and... I said, yeah, I actually need to cancel a pre-order. This dude immediately went from the nicest worker that I've ever worked with at GameStop to, like, one of the worst. He immediately went to, like, a straight face. He's like, oh, why do you want to cancel the pre-order? And I was like, well, after I get this stuff installed, I'm not really going to have enough space, especially with Infinite Warfare coming out and all that. So I told him that I didn't really have enough space, so there's no point in me spending $60 on a game. Um, if I'm not gonna have enough space to even use it on my console and I don't know he just kind of shrugged it off his shoulders and kind of ignored me uh, he asked my ID and all that to cancel it and it went it was okay with that he just kind of when he was putting the games in the discs or the the discs into the cases sorry of the uh, of ghosts and stuff that, that I bought he was just kind of like throwing it in there slamming it down on the desk like he really got angry with me and I'm really surprised that uh, that they really didn't like it that much. I've always heard stories of how GameStop really dislikes when you cancel pre-orders because that's how they make a lot of their money and also used games as well but I mean it was just kind of surprising how we went from one of the nicest guys that I've ever uh, worked with at GameStop to one of the worst employees and I don't know just all because of a can cancel pre-order. I do plan to get Battlefield 1 once I get some way to extend my space on my PlayStation so I definitely will be getting it, and I'll probably go back to GameStop to get it. Um, if I see that same guy in there, it might be a little iffy. But anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more if you aren't already. Let me know what you think, think about the story time videos. I know this one was a little bit short, but uh, honestly, uh, the series is kind of running dry. Not that I showed that it's fake and all that. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.